Hey, good morning, everyone. Pastor Brett here. Okay, um, real quick, Bible giveaway. Uh, I've been uh, talking about it. Um, time to get it done. Um, R.L. Allen, Holy Yep, uh, Red Under Gold, Art Guilt. Um, beautiful, perfect. I mean, nothing wrong with it except uh, one scratch on the gilding which you can see uh, right there, somewhere up there. Yeah, there's a scratch on the building. A couple little nicks, um, but uh, we um, gave this Bible away once and the person that had it doesn't want it, didn't want it, wasn't using it. Uh, so he decided to give it back. Uh, it's been in my bookcase ever since. It's been there for a couple of years. Um, I don't use it. Um, though I call oh, this Bible. Um, I really don't want to give it away. That's why I'm going to give it away. Um, I want the best. Why shouldn't I want to give you the best? Um, so um, I'm going to give you the best of what I have, at least. Uh, this is a huge Bible, but it's not marked up. There are no marks in it. This has a 8-point font. It's a very bold 8-point font, by the way. Um, R.L. Allen used a very bold font. Uh, I did find the note. Hmm. I found the note, the one note, um, Revelation 22, 14. Uh, but it's, um, I have uh, readable penmanship. So you can see the note right there. You can pause it, look at it. That's about Revelation 22, 14. Um, there's uh, two different Greek um, phrases, poiontes tas mutalas, which is do his commandments, or poiontes tas talas, wash their robes. Uh, King James translators and most choose the um, former um, because the, the uh, Byzantine text reads that way. But the modern critical text reads poiontes tas talas, wash their robes. Why? Because if you have to do his commandments to enter into heaven, um, uh, Revelation 22, 14 in Jesus' name says, Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have a right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. Now, if you have to do his commandments to do that, then that's works-based salvation. And that's not what the Bible teaches the panoply of scripture teaches that we're saved by grace through faith. It's because of him, not because of us. So, well, how do you understand this then? How does this work? Well, if you use the latter phrase, plenotes tas stalas, in the Greek, these two phrases are almost identical. So you need to understand that. Um, and uh, um, the reason why modern critical text translates it the latter is because in Revelation 7 14 we have this. Let me get there. It's the only thing I don't like about newish like Bibles. I'm afraid to turn the page until I wet the first one. Do the finger and wet the first one. I'm good. Then I can start marking it off. And, um, yeah, I'm still meticulous with my things. So you'll find this Bible, apart from that note, you'll find this Bible will be in brand new condition. Now, I did highlight this verse as well. Um, and uh, you'll see Revelation uh, 7 14. It says, And I said unto him, Sir, you know, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came out of the great tribulation. Now, I was talking. Um, elders answered, saying to me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes, and where whence came they? And he said, um, You know. John said, You know. And the angel said, These are they which came out of the great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. They're washed by the blood of Jesus. They're cleansed by the blood of Jesus. It's by the blood of Jesus that we are um, able to enter in. So, um, knowing that, then how do you handle Revelation 22, 14? Well, because those two phrases are almost identical in the Greek, it's evident um, how 
the King James translators and other translators have mistakenly translated this verse and this phrase into the text. So, Poyontes tas antalos, do his commandments, or plumontes tas stalots, wash the robes. Um, I go with the latter because the context of um, the New Testament teaches grace of faith and the finished work of Christ alone. So that's that with Bible teaching there. Um, but uh, this is not red letter. It has center column references. There are chin references throughout. There is a cyclopedic concordance in the back. And it is loaded. It's a large help section. Um, and so there's your Bible text and here's your helps. Um, and this help section is absolutely amazing. Um, it's a cyclopedic concordance. So there are charts, there are maps, there are photos. Via Dolorosa, hallelujah. The way of the cross. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Way of sorrows, via Dolorosa. Way of sorrows. Um, yeah, excellent tool. Um, if you have trouble reading small print, this Bible isn't real. Uh, I can read it right lighting with my glasses. Um, there's some note paper in the back. Uh, then there are the maps. And these are R.L. Allen maps. They're excellent maps, by the way. Um, and then you have some cardstock in the back that I use for notes. Um, and uh, that's that. It is edge lined. Um, this is a goat skin leather cover. Um, again, full yap. Um, and uh, uh, two Beresford ribbon markers. White head and tail bands, and uh, well, beautiful Bible. Okay, um, here's my uh, rules for participation you have to be a relatively new subscriber or someone who has not bought a Bible from us yet. Um, if you uh, want this Bible or need this Bible, you need this Bible. Write me, tell me, tell me a little bit about yourself, introduce yourself uh, if you haven't already. And uh, if you have, um, and if you've been on the channel for any length of time and haven't won a Bible, uh, just tell me why it is you want this Bible. Um, why do you want it? Some people will tell me that I need this Bible. I, I have a paperback Bible that's fallen apart. I have one young lady um, wrote me and told me, um, and she even took pictures. She found an NIV Bible in the garbage and um, she didn't understand how anybody could throw a Bible in the garbage. She took it out. It was just a, a cheap, I think it was a paperback Bible or a cheap um, bonded leather or something like that. But she took pictures of it. She showed it to me. She showed me her devotion the way she does it. I and mean, she reads the Bible every day. She loved it. She got saved reading that Bible that she found in the garbage. I was so moved by that story that I sent her a, a brand new uh, uh, NASB um, study Bible. And uh, yeah, she loves it. Thank the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. It's all Jesus. It's all about Jesus. It's not about us. So, um, You might have that tear-jerking, um, moving story. You may just simply say, Pastor Brett, um, I would just like to have a good, solid King James Version Bible that I could um, rely upon for comparative studies. Um, if you are a collector and you just want to pad your collection, well, good. That's not what we're here for. We're here to help those that need help. We want to give a good quality Bible to someone in need and uh, um, we just want you to, to then be able to study the Word, to you know, um, learn 
to grow in your faith and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This book will help you. Uh, R.L. Allen, Revere Blackface. Um, and, uh, yep, it's got an eight-point font. Uh, it's a beautiful Bible, and it lays flat. It's a floppy little baby, too. Um, so, like I said, you might find a couple of uh, places here where I highlighted. I use Pigma Micron pens for this. This is uh, Indithin paper, um, and it is uh, 28 GSM. It's very, very thin, so, um, but there's no ghosting to really even be concerned with. Um, and uh, Mama is not, is it? It is, it is line matched. It's line matched. So, not only, look at that. Um, readability is amazing. Um, if you have glasses, um, under good lighting, you can read this fine. Um, if you have trouble reading, like I said, this Bible is not for you. So, there it is. Oh, the New Testament there, and, um, yep, and not, not red letter, by the way, it's black letter. That's cool. Uh, there it is, folks. Um, the Barristered Ribbons, I cut and trimmed and heat sealed them so that they'll uh, last a lifetime. They won't fray, they won't run. Um, other than that, yeah, that's it. Write me in the comment section here. Tell me why you want this Bible or even need this Bible, preferably the latter. Um, but um, if you need a King James Bible for your studies and you can't afford to buy one, um, then this is your Bible. This is the Bible for you. All right? So uh, write me. And, uh, remember, you have to be a relatively new subscriber or someone that hasn't received a Bible from us in the past. Um, and, uh, yeah, tell me a little bit about yourself if you're new. And uh, uh, tell me why you would like to have this Bible. And we'll prayerfully consider um, who to give it to. And as the Lord leads, hallelujah, I follow. So, um, that's the way we do this here. I hope and pray that that's a blessing to you. <laughs> hallelujah. Um, everyone else, man, that uh, watches and um, wants to be a part of this, um, this is all about Jesus. It's not about us. So uh, uh, know that uh, because of our budget, uh, our finances are strict. I can't mail out until the first week of the month. So um, if you do win this Bible, be patient. We will give it to you um, at ASAP. Amen. Uh, we mail it out free of charge, so um, just uh, be patient and uh, all that. May the name of Jesus be glorified. All right. Amen. Jesus loves you. We love you. I hope and pray that that's a blessing to you. Um, have a great day, folks. In Jesus' name.